So now we're going to make our dog. We're going to start with a clay ball about this size. Fits right in the palm of your hand. And we're going to break that. We're going to take a little bit off so we can make our extra pieces, our ears, our nose, and our face. And we're going to set that aside. And then we're going to take the ball that we have left, break that in half, and we're going to make the head. To do that, we start with two pinch pots. You make a pinch pot by starting with the ball, pressing your thumb down into the middle of the clay, and you can see here my clay is a little dry. It's starting to crack. So we're just going to squirt it with the squirt bottle and get a little bit of moisture back in there. So press down with your thumb and then just start pinching to make a pot shape. Okay, now that we have our two pinch pots, uh, we're going to need to flatten the edges here so that we can score and slip them together. Um, so we're just going to lightly pat them down on the mat to flatten the edge out just a little bit. It gives us two flat edges and we'll be able to put it together really easy. So now we're going to score the flat edges where we're going to put the ball together. And then we need a paper ball for the middle of the piece. So we have a little piece of dunnage here crumpled up that we're just going to put right in the middle of the ball. As soon as we slip it, We'll put it together. So we're just gonna put that little paper ball inside and then close it in there. Okay, then you're gonna take your fingers, dip them in the water, and smooth your seam together just using your thumb and fingers. It's really important that you, when you have a figure to keep it hollow on the inside, um, otherwise it'll explode. And we'll also need to put some pinholes in here to allow steam to release from the piece. So now that we've created the head for the dog, we're going to move on and put the ears on first, then do the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. So here's an already cut out ear that we have here. To do that, just Use your cutting tool to cut the desired shape of the ear. This guy's really tiny. All right, so now we're going to attach the ears by again scoring the space where we're going to put it, adding some slip. putting the ear on, smoothing it down with the thumb and some water, and flipping it forward. Okay, now we're gonna make the eyes by taking two small balls, just roll it into a ball, Press it down with your thumb and just flatten it out a bit. And again, you can take some water, smooth out your edges, and then we're going to score and slip the eyes onto the dog.
Oops. Okay. And then if you want to, you can take the back end of your skewer, poke a little hole right in the middle, and give them a peephole. Or you can just leave it and paint it on later. Now we're going to make the nose. Again, we're just going to take a tiny piece and roll that into a ball. Flatten it out. Then we're just going to make it into a triangle shape. edges a little bit so it doesn't look like a beak and squirt and slip nose on okay and now we're going to add the mouth to do that, we're just going to take a ball, break it in half, and roll two small coils. You can use just the tip of your finger to roll this little coil out. Okay, now that we have our two coils rolled out, we're going to add those to the face to make the mouth. Okay, and then our last step is going to be to just give them a couple little dots here. And then we need to make sure that he's properly ventilated, so we're going to poke some holes in the bottom. So you want to make sure it goes all the way through. And that should do it. 